weird. Wow, it's really one of the clock in the morning? Oh snap. Oh no, I don't have to worry about a I don't have to worry about getting up on time. I'll play for just a little bit longer. Um I think I'll play most of this game off screen though. Okay, I guess we can't open this door. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. So we are going the right way, it seems. Good. Wait, ho, 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 hold on. Okay, no, we can't climb down on that. I didn't think so. That music is extremely ominous. So that's Main Street. And down here leads to those falls. So. <laughs> Cause you my skin so oily, my darn earbuds are falling out. <laughs> I totally understand that. Unfortunately, it's been hot again last couple days. So, I'm like I'm like pouring sweat while I'm listening to things with my headphones. I'm just like Please don't. That's why I've switched out my like my Bluetooth headset with my um uh, my over the head headset. So, makes it so much easier. Okay. We're finally back on Main Street. Hopefully nothing uh, nothing weird happens. Yep. This is... I wanna... This is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but it doesn't necessarily mean, you know... I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because... Well, because my mom was Methodist, and... But, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Well, what about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of God. I heard that a lot as a kid, and it's been on my mind tonight. Some aspects of it just, uh, um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything, well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some things are inevitable. I don't know, I'm just babbling now. I get that. Don't worry about the stuff you can't control. Yeah, but whatever. Okay. Ah. I hate that I kind of avoided this question. I don't know, I just like to hear him talk. Just to kind of explain things in his own terms. On his own terms, I should say. This place looks a little bit more ominous than before. Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. She's alive! You, you're alive! Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Uh, Clarissa? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. <sighs> okay, good try. Maybe they wanna... Maybe the ghosts or whatever wanna help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to, whatever, like, talk through us or something? I guess. Only one way to find out. Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, hun? Alex, little help over here. Over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Jesus. You think 
think you can control me? Clarissa? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... this will... Help me? Help me? How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're... they've like perverted this... Ghost? Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the night light on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. <gasps> Is she... okay, or... Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you... do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, oh, it's Clarissa's yeah. turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all- Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. It was she both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my god. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to god. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free, he was out of here, until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. You weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Enough. I mean it. Jonas, it... It was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean? No? All the outs in three. So let's... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was, but we're looping again, so God only knows where she is now. <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? Maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit? But I mean, I might as well be talking about flying carpets, because just who knows with this stuff. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever, we're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Yes, because I'm... Let's get in. Come on, really Alex. really happy with this right now. I'm just saying... Let's see, Dead Man, he said, I know this game. Yeah, it's actually available right now for free. It's actually really, really cool. Wait. Is that eight or... Yeah, it's the number eight, okay. Sorry, I was like looking at eight at twelve. Nice. Um, 
<laughs> Glitchy, she got some Claire issues. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was good. That was a good one. Sorry, I'm like. Oh, wait. I'm gonna need your help with the door thing, I'm sure. Hold on. And commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 Army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962, and in 1965, erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Well, I would have known how to get those questions correct if it weren't yep, for that. Yep, isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. All right, let's see if Rin's plan was a good one or not. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool, carry on. <laughs> Um, let's see, Deadman is like, I, I know, I don't have gold, but I really want to play it. Yeah, well, don't worry, it's available at least until, I think, next month. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for... Wave Assisted Lock. Ah, they use, um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. Uh, okay, cool, great. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... Wait, what? Whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside her control. Like... Ghosts, or the army, or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. Oh, I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, we do not have to dig up some old ladies recycling. We can just go home. November, Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, eventually. Everything becomes ah. November, Tango, India, 
watch your back. Hold on, guys. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha November. <laughs> There's so many more dials on here now. Goes even further down, too. I actually will go and check out that house now in the woods. I think it's probably the best idea we do that now. Uh, let's see, Glidgy. Or no, wait, hold on. <laughs> um, let's see, Demon says, oh yeah, I already read that. Uh, I gotta go back to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Yeah, that's actually a really good game. I won't lie, that's a really good Assassin's Creed game. Uh, Glidgy said, gotta find that mechanical unicorn. Oh yeah, you know I'm gonna go on that scavenger hunt. All right. Here's the thing, though. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I mean, in this time period. Oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You wanna know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you, do you get what's happening now? <laughs> All right, can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kinda encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady, it's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember we're all on the island? Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. This isn't right. Okay, guys, just stop, 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 stop. Everybody, stop. They're not gonna, they're not gonna stop. And I can't pull out my radio. Can't pull out my map or my radio. Can you just, just stop? I'm gonna have to relive this, aren't I? I'm gonna have to relive. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, Jamie said AC Origins looks better. Yeah, it, it does. It, I remember they said that there was a problem with animations or something, but it does look a little bit right? better. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Truthfully, I've, um... I... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't think. I don't believe you. So... Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa, or...? I guess I don't understand. No, I mean, like, like there's a past and a- And a future, okay, a, a future, Clarissa. Um, you're right, it doesn't make any sense. Sorry. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, 
I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah, get me a drink too. Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I, I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker night super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so, but I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's, okay. Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so that's what I see in her. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it, stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. And it ended. Oh boy. Uh, Demi said, well, I'm back for a sec, but I have a question. Sure, what's up? Please, ask away. Sorry I was quiet throughout the whole thing. That was a really, like, a really intense, like, moment. Alex, are you all right? Okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do you, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. Jonas, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he... D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Like, yeah, just now. Okay. Oh, crap! She was about to say something, wasn't she? I don't know. Uh, apparently everyone's here, though. Uh, 
Oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, good. Some... <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever. That's the new normal now. What weird stuff? Clarissa sorta kinda got possessed and then disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh. So there's that. What? Where is she? Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try yep, the gate thing, or...? I guess we're going to have to, although if I really want to go back to the If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. I guess the radio will open this, somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Alright. Uh, why didn't we play Assassin's Creed yesterday? Well, for the last few- well, actually, for the last week, I haven't been able to play anything, to be honest. Uh, it's just, this week's been very, very rough. station but uh, well, I don't think this is the station either Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Yes, happy thoughts, please. Oh boy. Let me uh grab my soda right here real quick, please. Okay. Oh boy. Wow, this place is like all sorts Jesus, of creepy, that house ain't it? Is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah, there is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying like secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a scrappy do? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Are you the least bit curious? There's not gonna be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just wanna get home. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, 
you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? (sighs) Negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're, They're not videos. Um, silent memories? Makes me kind of want to play the project- or like, you should play the slides. Alright, well, I don't really want to go here just yet. I actually do want to check out the rest of the island. Although I'm not sure if it's possible. Let me see if it's possible to leave. Uh, Gluji, you said Scrappy-Doo was the sec- uh, was the worst character ever made. I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> oh wait, there's another set of stairs here. Oh, these lead to the beach, of course. Um, I don't think I can go back. At least, not from what I can see. It seems like any time I get that screen, it just doesn't let me go back at all. I'm even pressing mashing A, it's not letting me go back. So unfortunately, I'm stuck here. I don't know if it's possible to even go back. Or if it was possible to do everything before opening that door, but... <sighs> Gonna find out here in a minute. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um... The keys, they... They have to be in the house, for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. (laughs) No, I know it won't help. Alright, so we gotta go into the house. That's the only thing we can do right now. I'm just afraid I'm gonna be sp- I'm gonna be spooked. I'm gonna be spooked real bad. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Alright. Oh. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. I don't believe you. These windows don't even. They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's is here, so everyone's here now. We can just. Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. I yeah. don't care what she says. Just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Yeah, Man, no, I don't trust her. Books. It's mostly math, I think. Gothic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Oh, thanks, uh, Jonas. Put some clothes on! <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better get- Oh, um, Chad's Lake House. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Hey, Nona. Hey. How 
How's it going? Uh, steady as she goes. Clarissa? Your Highness? Look, I think, like, don't take this the bad way, but you need help. Oh, do I? What kind of help, may I ask? A doctor's help. Any doctor that can prescribe things, really. My mother doesn't really keep attention to her prescription pads, so if you have any suggestions, write them down for me, will you? I really, really wanted to say everything else, but that didn't work out, now did it? Now, hold on a minute here. Where did Rin disappear to? I'm going to assume he went toward the basement, so let me go toward that area and see that's where he went. I'm going to give him a quick chat. <laughs> Let's see. Jamie, you said you love Shaggy? Cool. Yeah, Shaggy's pretty good. Yeah, Find anything good. useful? Not yet. But you know, the night is young. How are you, um, how are you feeling? Like, physically? Everyone kind of looks like they have the flu. What do you care how I'm feeling? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? Well, you were being a total goober. What do you want me to say? I mean, a second brownie. You know that was dumb. And what did it affect? Nothing. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just forget I said anything. Go about your business. Damn it. Okay, bud. I'm sorry. Oh... <sighs> Is it because is it really that bad? Cause I really wanted to bond more with Jonas, cause he is my he's my stepbrother. Yeah, it's cause I wanted to bond with him. No, I'm a Are bad you, guy. Um, Thanks. Doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. We're going home soon, so. Yeah, that's true. God. <laughs> this is your favorite Scooby Doo game, eh? Okay then, Gluji. Ah, it's been disconnected. Bummer. Okay. Wait, hold on a minute. Is this a mirror? What is this back here? It is! It's a mirror! I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Wait, I'm not ready to go upstairs yet. Let's go downstairs first. I see the chest. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said, hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Like, gee, school, let's get out of here. So many, there are so many of these, it's not even funny. Alright, yeah, but that's what Gluji said. <laughs> Ooh, you A know chest. what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. 
Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Oh, Alex. no. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have yeah, something we want to what? show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Nona, are you okay? Wait, wake up! Crap. Ren, are you... are you alright? We're in a... we're in a time loop thing. Oh, God damn it, Clarissa. Ah, there you are. Ah, now we imagine no. you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just stop whatever this is, can't you? Just just fix my friends. Please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good-humored as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear, the point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, I'm sorry, child, you weren't even close. Damn it. Nona! No! Why no. look at that? The little one's up and hit the silk. Bring her back! Now! Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're not... I spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Um, four. Three. One. Two. Uh, is it the... the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is one you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret, Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use those waves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. No! That's horrible! We can see how this might seem. Great sense, but we're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... 
You had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. Oh god. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? <laughs> Upstairs, actually, let me go back upstairs. Oh my god. So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. And look, Alex, if you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, lest ghosts are gonna punish not you, ask to tag out or something, cause God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, she's good at this stuff. Normally. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She didn't know anything. She any knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the, the source of the problem in the cave. Well... If we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. <sighs> I wish there was, like, just something here that explained what the crap she was up to. Maggie, forget about it. It's a dead end. Yeah, like, just give us a clue. She knew about some of this stuff, at least. Uh, does anyone buy the whole eternal recurrence thing? Literally? No idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah, what's that again? Is that like reincarnation? It's when... It's the idea that if time is infinite and matter is finite, then everything will eventually repeat in the same exact pattern again and again. I subscribe to whatever snake handlers believe in, so... Does anyone... Sorry, but does anyone recognize who this is? I think her name's Anna? Nope. Never heard of her. No. Uh, no. Me neither. She was a... a friend of Maggie, I think? I don't know. The... the ghost just pointed her out. Alright, hopefully that's everything. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. Slowly but surely, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All 
right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Uh, sweet, they're learning. Boo! Okay, all right, we get it. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives, or whatever. Okay, good. <sighs> I just knew, like, I was going, I was like, I better make sure I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, use a response station to open the bomb shelter, okay. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me, I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't. Okay, sorry, I couldn't read what the other options said. All right, so now we know what we gotta do. We got our mission ahead of us. Let's do it. If we will move any faster, because we are slow. Mupster Truck! Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I get the feeling we're really close to the end of this game. Just saying. Well, hold on a second here. Okay. We're not supposed to go this way, but I'm going to go this way regardless. Uh, you said sorry for missing out so much of the streams. I've been on a Destiny 2 binge. No, you're fine. I actually hadn't really streamed all that much this week. To be honest, I, I really haven't gotten the chance to. A lot of stuff went on this week, and I just was too tired and too exhausted to stream afterwards. Mm -mm -mm. This popcorn is delicious. <laughs> That was actually the stairs where we were earlier. I wanted to climb them and I couldn't. Oh. Maggie says she hopes the notes are found by the correct person. Well, I guess that'll have to be us. To whoever, whoever is finding these notes, understand my hope is that by enshrouding this intelligence as such an astute matter, its detection will discourage most innocent seekers, therefore, or thereby allowing it to befall the correct person and not the easily distracted military mind, nor the typically bewildered excursionist. Do not blame the submarine's crew. I don't believe its passengers like Henry Griffin can even understand what has truly happened to them. 
and you do not have to forgive me for my Marid, uh, Marid, yeah, Marid, 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 Marid failures, but please remember the name, Anna Shia. Know that she did not deserve her fate. Huh. Guess we're not going in there again. Whatever happened must have caved in the opening. See if there's anything here before we go. Okay. But I don't think there's really anything here, so let's go ahead and get going. Let's see, Mupstri said, uh, if you want to, I'm still up for YouTube shenanigans after stream. Also, I finally have a mic now. That's cool, yeah, great. As far as I know, my niece is all out of school, so I can pretty much stay up. Pretty much. <laughs> hmm. Guys, I think I'll stream just a little bit more of this, but I might call it a night soon. I'm not sure yet. Wait, why am I going back up? Let's go, let's, I mean down, I mean we gotta go back up. Top of the hill, in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. At the top of the hill, <laughs> in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo. Okay. You know, out of the whole thing, I've only gotten one achievement for this game. Oh! That oh, another woman, letter! Marianne Bozik helped her transcribe the ghost's transmissions. Oh! An achievement! I apparently collected four of Maggie's, uh, letters. I don't know how, but apparently I did. Um, Marianne Bozek, forever engraved on the Command, uh, Command Annex memorial plaque, was a kind, humble woman who helped me decode the ghost's unusual messages. I don't think she ever really believed my hypothesis that we were relays from the second submarine, even though she, uh, corresponded with, as she put it, a man named Calvin, an electrician who died on the Kanaloa. I place, I piece together... The truth, the cover up, and my own tragic mistake that killed him and his and his mates over months of careful. Okay, not up. It's gotta be all the way down the bottom. Was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Sweet. Ah, look, another one.
as hell. I don't know if there was anything else that was supposed to happen with that, but there you go. <laughs> A lizard in your bedroom? Okay then, Mupster. It's funny though, I mentioned about only getting one achievement in this game and then after I find that letter I get a second achievement. So odd. I don't even think that's that was Alex's voice. That might have been Maggie's voice once upon a time. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening? What the hell? Alex. Alex, okay. Are you are you back to normal? I just saw it, it, it was like a premonition, I think. And, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that cuz I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. No, I'm going back. I'm sorry. I, I really am worried. I'm gonna go back and see what's going on. I'm I mean, I'm afraid if I do that like, something is gonna happen. But I'm afraid if I don't, that something definitely will happen. As far as I know, hold on, let me make oh not photos, damn it. Um, as far as I know, they're still at the Adler Estate? At least that's what it looks like. I mean, I don't see their icons anywhere, so I'm assuming they're still here at the Adler Estate. Let me see. Good, you said you had it. The jingle play, but you quit before it said anything. <laughs> Are you sure, Gluji? Because it did nothing but play the jingle. That's the thing. It played a jingle, and then it played another tune, and then it stopped. And then it repeated itself. And I'm like... It was, just, it was literally just nothing but music. There was no vo no voices on there at all. It's just like with that other one, where the voice asks, "How many of you are there?" That's all she asks. There's no like no extra dialogue. Now hold on. Hoping, praying, wishing these two are here. Nope. Hell, they might be in the house and I don't know it. Alright. I really don't know where they're at. Obviously the map's not showing me either, which kind of sucks. But I'm assuming they're probably up ahead, to be honest. They're probably up ahead. Now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Now those woods we went through at the beginning of the game, I am actually going to retrace my steps. And instead of jumping over the large chasm, I'm going to actually follow the path. Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so delicious. Yes, let's go.
Okay. Yeah, there they are. I can't talk to them? Okay then. I know I must be able to, I know I'm not, I'm not able to open the door, but... Okay, no, I, didn't, I know I'm not able to. I have to actually go to the three stations, and then the door will be able to open. I just hope that Rin there will be okay. Just saying. Now that I know where he's at. Oh, let me see some real quick. Um, is it this one? Yeah. Oh, sweet, I only have like three- I have literally just three more to go. That is literally all I have left to do is get three more stones. If I can find three more stones, I can get all 12 of them. Cool. On loading screen. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning, which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Jonas, they should be concerned. They should be... scared. And that's on them if they're not. Alright, good to hear. Okay. I think this... Um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Yeah, instead of taking the chasm, I'm going to take the safe route. I believe there was a pile of rocks here. Don't quote me, though. Oh, look! Crap! Oh, there was more pages. Alright, well, let me see. This is the first one? Okay. Mm-hmm. There's a similar statue of a man in Maine where I grew up. My memory of it is, I think, part of the reason why I say I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's pro um, pro protestations. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was, of course, thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously stated, uh, started the petition in 1975 to have this one made after the daughter of uh, Kanaloa's crewman, Francis Salter, asked, I don't know why, a marker maybe for the hope I had, I once had to help people. Reverend Grid, I already read that. Okay. Uh, after the fort closed, I used the considerable resources for my father's en endowment to buy up most of the land or influence. Government officials declared that which I could not buy. Uh, I could not buy protection. Uh, protected. I have been 
I have not been entirely successful and have watched in horror as a small tourist and industry was uh, precariously sprung upon this cursed island. Even the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert, set up a restaurant to cater the inquisitive out-of-towners. I can promise this, though. The museum will never happen, and the beach and caves will be boarded up. Alright. I read that. To whom it may concern this island... And uh, this island and is a lie. I have been compiled by both forces outside of my control. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So everything's... These are all separate letters. Okay, I see. And these photos, which is basically the photos we saw, or we get to see. So that's the first one. Hmm. Okay. And then here, it looks like there's something in the shadows in the far back, and then here we got a figure staying behind us. And we got two more photos. Nice. Alright, well I didn't mean to skip that letter, I really didn't mean to, so that's why I went back and read that. Okay. Wasn't there like a rock or something here? I mean, I could be wrong, but still. I'm waiting for the dial to turn red, because once it turns red, I'll know. Okay. Alright, hold on, we're going, we're going, we're going. Don't worry, guys, I know, I'm taking forever today. <laughs> Don't say literally like that, I'm sorry. Was wondering, has mom completed the raid yet? Has mom completed the raid yet? Huh? Oh, Mupster! Has Mupster completed the raid yet? I don't know. Uh, you'd have to ask him. <laughs> oh, I see. The chasm. The chasm has a rock. I see it all the way up there. Okay, we're gonna go back. Uh, we're gonna climb back up. And we're gonna jump across the chasm. Because the chasm literally does have a rock up there. Okay. I'm sorry, Jonas, for dragging you around, bud, but we gotta go. Climb up here. Do it! Oh god! Okay. Come on. Come on, Jonas. Alright, right down here is the rock. Get close. Yep, here it is. Oh, and it was right on the right frequency, too! after the grounds, Bill. I was at Park Warden in Grants Pass, so this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest, killed himself today after what his wife describes as a years-long battle with depression. His body was found hanging from a tree in the... <laughs> Somebody else here to watch after the grounds, Bill? I was at Park Warden in Grants Pass, so this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger. Okay. Well, I said literally again, I did. I'm sorry, Gluji. It's just gonna keep coming out of my mouth. Ain't nothing I can do to stop it. I 
I wonder if we went after Clarissa first, if Ren would have been the one that um that would be in, in her place right now. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Me too, buddy. Me too. Now, we actually went there before, earlier, too. Oh, come on. Now, the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop de -loo. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. See if there's anything in here I could use. Luckily, it didn't throw us all the way back at the beginning, thank God. I wonder if I should go check out. Now, the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also. hope that. Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren's... he's... he had an accident. He... he died. I couldn't... No, no, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex! I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Nona. I didn't mean anything. What happened? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... He just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. I know you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should take it. Closing the tear in the cave might work. Y you don't know that for sure. We do know that for sure. We've seen others try, we've seen you try. So pay attention. It's already over for Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly, without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. No, no, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me! We're all getting out of here! <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we intend to provide you all the rules. Jonas? Oh, snap. This really sucks. I see Glitch, you said you're gonna, I think I'm gonna clock it for a bit, I'm getting tired. Okay, you get some rest. Cause I'm sadly wide awake. Uh, Mupster said, uh, I didn't beat the raid, but I did get seven wins in trials. Oh, cool. Okay, so she thinks there. that oh. the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? Let's see. My belief, bolstered by Anne, uh, Anna's and my research, conducted, uh, con uh, yeah, conducted largely at the 
Catbird Station. Whoa. At the Catbird Station, where interruptions were rare. Is that the men and women of the USS Kanaloa uh, were separated from our dimensional existence by the... Wow, implosion of the of the submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, passenger Henry, by his call sign, and his confusion dictated was um, reliance on game logic. Says to me that their emotional states, if not mental states, have been reduced to that of children. I thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. Okay. Yeah, let's get that radio back on. It said 130 something, so 138 it said. Huh. I guess I can't do it right now. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. More important than a, just a crush. It's not stupid. It's not small to like somebody. It doesn't, it doesn't diminish anything. <sighs> Maybe. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hoped you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow, I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, oh station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? They're both alive. Hey, anybody. That's all I care about. Jonas? God. Jonas? Yeah, no, Punch that's, a, that's a bonus, too. Seriously, right in the throat. Huh. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The okay, yeah, no. Speak further up. Or whatever we're doing. Yeah, let's do it. Time's a waste. Yeah, they're further up the hill. Like actually wasted. Like I feel my body wasted away. <laughs> no, it's it's okay if you're like dealing with stuff. Off I go. See you. We have said, to deal or with stuff. Not out. <laughs> what stuff? The uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my God, you guys. That. No, it was then. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like, it was high, believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Right, no, radio it, uh, it just whatever, that's fine. That. She is fine. Okay, it's true. To <laughs> Shut up. Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. Uh, oh. Okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have the last word? Over is good enough. Over now. 
Yep. Hello. We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Otherwise, stay on the line, and we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to, to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but I, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before moving on. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Sweet. Now we go go back. Wonderful. Just hope nothing happens, and then watch something happen. Going the wrong way. Now, no, wrong one. I have two more that I need to find. I'm wondering if they're inside the shelter. The only thing I could think of. I don't know where any more of them could be. I could be wrong, of course, but who knows? So far, I seem to have found every single one of them on the path. faster. Yep. Whew. My god. Four hours. Can I really beat this game in, in like less than two more?